Hello my dear students, very good evening. Welcome to Excel Vidyarthi, all of you, the history card. So all of you, today, uh, I am going to discuss different positions of axis of the solids. Okay. So according to your first year BTEC syllabus for engineering drawing, we have these solids. The solids are prisms, pyramids, cone and cylinder. Okay. And we can have some spear also sometimes. Okay. So prisms are of different types all of you. The prisms are triangular prism, uh, square prism, we have pentagonal prism and then hexagonal prism. Coming to pyramids, similarly we can have a triangular pyramid, a square pyramid, a rectangular pyramid and as well as pentagon and hexagonal pyramid. Okay. So all the solids are generally defined by the position of the axis. Okay. I want to define the position of the solid. Okay. So how we will define? We will define depending upon the position of the axis. The axis of the solid is perpendicular to BP and parallel to HP. So we will always define the solids with the help of the axis only. Therefore, axis is nothing but what? A simple line we can take it as. Okay. Now I am just trying to say what is the view we have to start with with different conditions or positions of the axis. Very simple all of you. So within one minute, you can understand what is the view we have to start with for the solids in the first year BTEC semester examination. Okay. So now just see here, for example, okay. So when we have, when we have axis parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Okay. So when we have axis parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP, then what is the view we have to start with? Very simple. Just observe all of you. First of all, we have to check the perpendicularity of the axis to which to which plane to which plane your axis is perpendicular so my axis is perpendicular to what vertical plane on the vertical plane we will be always drawing the front view therefore front view we have to start as the first step next we have to bring out the top view from the front view okay again i'm repeating all of you so coming to the axis we have to check the perpendicularity. Okay. So if it is perpendicular to VP, start with the front view because in the VP, we will be always drawing the front view. And if the axis is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP, then start with the top view because top view will always give the true shape for that form. Here front view will give the true shape and top view will definitely give the true shape. Okay. For complete problems and for complete exercises, join the next upcoming free course okay next so if the axis is parallel to hp and inclined to vp okay one 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 trick or one shortcut point i want to say okay so if an axis is inclined to a plane make it perpendicular to that plane now just see all of you here the axis is inclined to vp inclined to vp so make it perpendicular to vp Okay, so if it is perpendicular VP, we have to start with the front view, then go for the top view, then go for final top view and final front view. Complete construction I will say in the class, no need to worry. These are the shortcuts by using which uh, you can you can definitely eliminate all the confusions in your examination. Okay, and if it is inclined to HP, if axis is inclined to HP, make it perpendicular to HP, start with the top view, then go for the front view, then go for final front view and final top view, all of you. Okay, so all of you with these two slides, this slide and this slide, you can definitely get full marks from the projections of the solids, all of you. So join the next upcoming free course and score full marks in your semester examination to the subject engineering drawing, all of you. And just bring all your friends onto this platform that is Excel with their D. Thank you, all of you. Good day.